Hey, welcome, welcome. This is Alex Dumas, and welcome to another episode of Abundance Dominance Daily. This is your daily dose of ADD, and I want to get into it right, right away. So I'm going to talk about leadership principles, using it or losing it. Connected more message last night. If you saw it on Facebook, then I hope you um, have got some good value from that. So I want to get into three quick things, all right? So number one being that leaders are able to move things forward. There's no look, there's no point in looking backwards and worrying about what this what happened. You know, it's good to learn from mistakes and learn from and correct those things, but moving forward, you always have to be someone that's driving, that's always, you know, going to the next step and going to the next level. And think about it like this: if no one's really following you, then you're just taking a nice walk by yourself. <laughs> Someone said that to me a while back, so I thought it was kind of funny. But um, you know, I want you to get that in your head and maybe Start looking at, you know, the people around you, start looking at, you know, what's going on around you and are people, you know, gravitating to your message and to, to your vision? We'll see. So number two, you want to think about, are you handling your busyness or are you handling your business? Ooh. So let's think about it like this. You know, if you're in sales, are you thinking about people you want to prospect? Are you writing down those lists and that's fine that's that's all good but what's really the money maker is when you talk to those people when you, you know exchange contact information get their information whatever or you know you make an offer and they say yes or better yet when they say no you get to the heart of it and then you know you figure it out and then at the end of the day it turns into a yes and they want to refer you more people and that's the business you should be in, no matter what it is, whether you're in financial services, you're, um, you know, you're construction, you're you know, selling refrigerators, I don't know what it is, selling cars. In any business, it always has to be that. It has to be the action part of you know, making that contact with that person. It can't be just, well, today I'm, you know, I have like 20, 25, you know, 30 people I wanted to talk to. Well, while you're thinking someone else is doing, and the person that's doing is going to be winning. So... I want you to win and I want you to get, you know, get to the point, get to the part where you want to get to go, when you want to, what you want to get to, can't speak today. Anyway, uh, <laughs> and as entrepreneurs, it's it's tough at the beginning, you know, it's, you have the challenges of really having that, you know, it's all about me. If it's, if it's to be, it's up to me and that's all well, you know, and at the end of the day, it is, you know, your attitude, your activity, your attitude you know, is what's going to drive things, but you need to learn how to leverage. Build a team of people around you that are going to work with you, not for you, right? You want people that work with you. You know, if you're not great on, um, you know, editing content and editing your videos, find somebody who can do that for you. Your goal is, your job is not to be the one-stop shop. You shouldn't be a Swiss army knife. You're going to be a jack of all trade. And a master of none, you'll be a jackass of all trades, <laughs> some people say. So don't fall into that trap that it has to be all about you. And number three, thinking about what's your vision? What's the end goal? What, what is it? You know, have you written that down? Do you have a vision board? Do you have those types of things where you can look back to and reflect and say, all right, this is where I am now. This is where I want to go. So am I on track? Right. Hope that makes sense. And quick uh, personal story for me, you know, thinking about, you know, being the leader of my household, you know, back in 07, me and my wife were, you know, dating, you know, been about almost a year, year and a half, you know, we had just moved in together like September of 07 and, um, you know, things were going pretty good, things were you know, going awesome. And then she had to kind of ask me the magic question and kind of challenge me, back me up and say, hey, where are we going? Like, what is this? What are we, what are we doing? You know, and as a man, that was kind of like, it kind of upset me at first. Cause I'm like, well, what do you mean? We're moving together. You know, men are stupid. What are you doing? But, uh, <laughs> you know, she'll tell you that too. But, um, you know, you had to, I think like, okay, what are we, what are we really doing? What, are, what's, what am I envisioning? Are we just here to like, just be together and have a fun time or are we going to like really build a life together you know shortly after that you know i had to come back pop the magic question like hey let's let's do this let's be together right and you know since then you know 
that's how it's been. But um, you know, having that end end goal in mind, you know, hey, listen, we're gonna you know get married, we're gonna have kids, get a house, you know, build businesses together, and just enjoy a great life together. And that's what I want, and that's what I know that's what I know she wants too. So, you know, don't be afraid to kind of get mushed by a mentor. Don't don't be afraid to challenge your people too because they need that. You know, people are going to stay in the same spot if you don't kind of nudge them. You know, we're all just going to be at a slow jog, but the leader is going to be the rabbit. The leader is going to be the person that's going on a full sprint at a, for a marathon. And people that are going to be working with you and work on your team, you need to pull them together, get their shoes tied on tight, help them do those first few steps, and then let them take off and let them you know catch up and keep pace or let them exceed you. Because really, as a leader... You don't want people to just always constantly follow you. You want people to replace you. So now that frees you up for more opportunity for things you want to do and you know more opportunity to serve people. So thinking about that, using that, or you're going to lose that. So with that said, hope you appreciated that message for the day. You know, let me know your thoughts. You know, let me know some uh, leadership strategies that maybe I can implement. You know, because it's always a fair exchange. I don't want it to be me just blah, blah, blah. And at you, you know, let me get your feedback. Let me get your ideas too. And like, let's collaborate. Let's think about this together. So, um, and it's not just about being in business too. Think about being a leader of your household, being a leader at your workplace, being a leader at your church, being a leader on sports team, wherever. You're always going to be a leader. You have to lead yourself first in order to lead others, influence others. So with that said, born to live your life in abundance. You know, you're the master of your future, you control your freedom, and you have complete dominance of your thoughts, emotions, and habits. So take care. Have a good, have a good day. God bless.